Hi, I'm Ben Gaines from Adobe Analytics Product Management. One of the most exciting things about Analysis Workspace is that it's much more of a web application than a static website. And we've built it to be very interactive and to have some of the native application functionality that you're used to from working with applications on your desktop. One of these is the ability to right-click and to have a bunch of functionality available by right-clicking. I've got a project open and I want to show you three different general areas where right-click can really help you out and adds a lot of power to Analysis Workspace. Um, the first of these is right-clicking in a, in a table cell anywhere in Analysis Workspace. So I've got a bunch of table cells selected here in this, in this freeform table. And once a cell is selected, I can right-click on it and I get a bunch of options. I can do a breakdown directly from here. Um, I can visualize what I've got uh, selected. Now it just so happens that that selection is driving this visualization, but if I were to hit bar, I will get a new visualization that's based on the uh, the table that I just, uh, just or the, the rows that I just had selected. The only reason this looks different than this is that I haven't turned on normalization for this graph. Now these two are really exactly the same. This one's just thinner. Uh, so I can, I can visualize directly from right clicking. Um, I can also download that particular uh, selection as CSV. I can trend that selection. So if I, uh, if I click that, I'll get a visualization that gives me a line graph for the date range I'm looking at. There it is. And you can see I've got, I mean, I've got a, a quite a bit of stuff selected and I'd probably want to expand out this line graph a little bit and change, uh, change, you know, some aspects of it or maybe change what I've selected. But that ability to visualize directly from a selection by right clicking is an awesome way to, to get another level of insight um, into what you're seeing in a data table. I'm going to go ahead and blow that one away. Um, I can create a segment from the selection. Um, so if I, if I click there, I get a segment and sure enough, the products that I had selected are the criteria in my segment and I can save that off and go do anything I want with it. I'm not going to do that in this case, but I could. Um, and then I could also uh, display only the selected rows. So I could actually kick rows eight through 10 out of my uh, table here. And now I'm, I'm down to just seven, uh, seven rows. Um, and that, that, that becomes a way for me to kind of uh, limit what's, what I, uh, I want to look at. So I can deselect that. So that's, that's selecting a cell. Um, the other, uh, another great uh, addition to Analysis Workspace with right-clicking is at the top of any visualization, data table, tool, or even at the top of the project itself, I can right-click to add a description. So I'm going to just add something simple. And you can actually uh, hit new line in here. So if you want to have multiple paragraphs, you can certainly do that. And I could do that also at the, uh, at the, at the, the tool level or the visualization level. So I can say this is a cohort analysis and save that one off. If I want to duplicate the visualization, let me duplicate one that's a little bit uh, less, maybe less heavy. Um, I can do that by right-clicking in the header of the visualization as well. Uh, so, uh, so uh, the other the other thing that you can do at the at the by clicking in the header of uh, visualization or of the project, um, which is neat, is you can collapse all panels, and that will give you. Uh, sorry, I don't want to collapse all panels. You can do that if you have multiple panels. I don't. I want to collapse all visualizations in the panel, and this gives me sort of a quick way to visually see what uh, how my uh, how things are laid out, and so I can. You know, then I can, can resize these or uh, reorder them. I can move this table up to on top of the bar graph if I want to. Um, and then I can come back in here and expand all of them. And you'll see that the changes I made are, are reflected uh, in that. So um, that, there's right clicking in the, uh, in the header. Uh, I guess I should mention you can also duplicate the entire panel if you want to. Um, as well. So if you want to, if you want to have a, a separate uh, version of this panel, maybe change the date range or change segments that are applied at the panel level, you can do that in there as well. The last place where you can right click at the moment is uh, in this uh, left rail where we have our dimensions, metrics, segments, and time components. Um, what I can do in here is if I want to sort of group these, say I've got a bunch of dimensions that are product related, I can select those, I can multi-select them by, by shift clicking. And then I can right click on those 
and I can uh, I can I can tag them if I want to. So I'll give them a, a tag of products. Maybe I'll tag it with merchandising as well, and I can hit tag, and now those are tagged. Uh, I can also uh, this will also help me with my with my breakdowns because I can do for example. Oh, I didn't. Uh, I don't have access to referring domain because I've curated my project. But uh, let's say I wanted to do a. Uh, I wanted to um, break down these four segments by uh, the top product names. So I can come in here to product name, and I can multi-select here, and uh, I can drag these over. That doesn't actually. Uh, that doesn't actually have to do with right click, but it's cool. So I thought I would throw that in here. And then you'll see that gets blown out. Now, that, of course, that's going to take a ver create a very big table, but uh, but that's fine. Um, what you can do is I can select all of these if I want to and get rid of them all at once. So I can hit delete selected, and that'll remove those from my table. So if I if I uh, wanted to reset things to the way that they had looked uh, earlier, I can do that. I can do that by uh, removing uh, removing them by right clicking. Uh, so you're going to see a lot more right-click functionality coming to um, uh, coming to Analysis Workspace uh, in in the future. Uh, but the I think the key thing here is that it is an an application environment. It it, it uh, treat it like an application. Um, use that right-click, and uh, and uh, you'll get a lot more. I think you get a lot more power out of a, out of Analysis Workspace.